Once you've created a groom, you may want to animate it to coordinate with the scene. You can animate it either by hand or by using a dynamic simulation. To animate your groom by hand, add a guide modifier. Then in the Guide tab of the Attribute Editor, create a new set of input guides. These animatable wires are now used to guide the hair. This adds a new subdescription derived from your original description, complete with its own sculpt layers. As you did for your base groom, activate this sculpt layer and use the groom tools to reshape the hair into a new pose. You can then keyframe this layer from 0 to 1 to animate between the base groom and the new pose. Alternatively, to have Maya automatically simulate the hair movement for you, make the wires dynamic. Change the playback speed to play every frame, as simulation requires this in order to be accurate. Now rather than controlling the wires manually, Maya will instead simulate their movement using an n-hair system. However, notice how gravity causes the original hairstyle to droop. To avoid this, use a linear wire modifier instead of a guide modifier. This keeps your original hairstyle as a base before applying dynamic effects, which you can further tweak via the Hair System Shape tab. For more information on guides versus linear wires, refer to the Maya documentation. Once your animation is complete, you can then cache them to an Alembic file for export.